Hi Taurus, this is Just with your weekly reading for December 19th to the 25th. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. So, um, Taurus, and I just want to put this out that although I put specific dates, that's just basically for you guys to get an indication of perhaps when another reading will be put up so um then could be a uh, last week reading and it will it'll start from or i'll start it um from the 26th to whatever i got obviously to the 31st um but that's the reason why the dates are indicated it doesn't mean that everything is going to happen that will that i'll speak of will happen to you until up until the 25th it's energy so some of you may not even feel it weeks away or have already felt it so just keep that in mind as far as these dates are concerned now i guess someone needed to hear that because i didn't say that in the last uh, videos but um i do see definitely some of you guys are anticipating someone coming to see you you going to see someone but i feel for a lot of you it's more someone coming to see you guys and i feel like before the person actually comes there's going to be a lot of excitement or there was a lot of excitement for this person to come. So there's a lot of communication back and forth and um, just a lot of excitement about this person coming. But I feel like some of you are it, like there is a suspicion um, almost as if for some of you, you're you're um, going with this against your better judgment is what I'm kind of getting. Um and I feel like the person kind of wooed you, you know, they paid you a lot of attention and some of you could have been single for quite some time. So it's a welcoming thing to get that type of attention. And so because of that, there's a, you were open to the possibilities of this person coming to see you uh, for some of you, you, them, but more of them seeing you. And again, I feel like there is a suspecting or a suspicion or feeling like, you know, I don't know how well this is going to go. I don't know, you know. Um, if this is the best thing for me, that sort of thing. Um, I feel like some of you will be dealing with someone that, again, was very much uh, all in um, at the beginning, especially when you guys were kind of going through um, a hardship time. So this person could have come into your life right when you were either getting getting over someone or you were having financial problems. There was some type of difficulty that you guys were experiencing that someone came in and was the, the, was the, um, your shoulder to lean on, the person to brighten your day, the person to kind of give you the positive side of what, of what you can anticipate. And, and I feel like for some of you, um, this person may not necessarily pan out to be the person that you thought them to be. Okay. And it's almost like things are going to change really fast. <laughs> like you guys are going to get, some of you guys are going to get a wake up call fast. Like, wow. Okay. And it's almost like you had a feeling that something wasn't right. Um, but you, you know, you went, you went with it anyway. And, um, the person is going to kind of prove who they are to you really quickly. And I feel like for some of you, you will be anticipating someone to come and they won't show up. Okay. Um, and um, for those of you that you you can relate to this part, there was someone that was pretty much like a Casanova, that sort of thing. Um, you don't realize that this person is not as um, established as he say he's not the person that he says that he is okay and you may find even if he does come that sort of thing you know you may find that he's a bit controlling he's um, hot tempered he's just not the type of person that you would want to consider in a long-term basis and you may find that even he makes you a bit um, dis disheveled or um, he kind of turns you upside down. So there will be for some of you are realizing the type of person that you're dealing with. Um, and this person showing a side of you, side of themselves that they've never showed you before. But I feel like for some of you, you've had some type of like your feelings, some things about them. There was already this feeling of like, mm, I don't know, or, um, 
there was just again just some feelings your intuition was telling you something but because you didn't see any concrete evidence you still stayed optimistic but this will be the week that um, that kind of um, is proven um, so um, I feel like now with toward the end of the week with this situation a lot of you are going to um see things for what they are accept things for what they are and i feel like um embrace like this newness period so um this person may have helped you move into a happier state of self but then you will probably realize that you know what i don't need to depend on this person anymore i like i don't need you to help me get through because I'm already through I'm already on the other side okay um, but I don't feel like all of this will happen in the week's time so this could be going more into 2017 for you um, but there will be that element there um, now others of you um, I'm seeing that there could be a situation where um, some of you will be having someone come over and see you, uh, but you would rather be with someone else, someone that you know is not the best for you, someone that you kind of have that I can't be without you type of energy. Like, I can't, you know, I can't be with him. I can't be without him. And you could have been conversing with both of them. So this person that this new person that is like really good energy between the two of you, you seem to be on the same page, but then underneath the surface like no one knows that you are kind of scared to move on to something else even though it feels real it's almost as if you're comfortable in this familiar um, energy that can be toxic for you you're 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 comfortable in that understanding I feel like for those of you that that relates there's a very long-standing relationship with this person and so it's very hard for you to um, not be there for them when they need it for, for you not to go back to that energy albeit you want to get away from it but at the same time you're still not 100 percent ready and there's, opp and there's an opportunity for you to get away from it because there's someone that really is on the same page with you but you still find yourself wanting to kind of reach out to that person that other person and there may be you wanting to be with this other person and some of you are going to entertain this other person that isn't like from your past that isn't the best for you but then you're going to be disappointed and then be thinking that man I should have just really put all my energy into this other person that you know which it was showing very positive for you so be careful with that um, because I do see that someone that you have a very strong connection with not anyone new but someone that you're very familiar with neither one of you are really good at this time for one another is what I'm saying seeing okay so this is a, a two people that's married this will be a hard week for you guys if you're married um, some things might be revealed or frustrations come to a head situations where people um, I feel like family situations and cu relationships couples living together that sort of thing um, this could be the week that proves to be um, eye-opening things being revealed you realizing for some of you that you have to kind of let someone go someone that is going to be leaving this isn't something new you didn't just hear about it you've known it but the reality of the situation is, is something that you will have to accept this week okay um, so that could be your children that could be your mate if you're in a bad situation with your mate you know that you have to let his two people you have to let one of them go you can't continue on this way or someone isn't going to continue on this way and this week there will be that understanding of that not only will it be in the understanding of that but you'll accept it you guys are preparing you've been getting prepared for this disconnect from something that really I feel both of you are holding each other back it, again be a family friend whatever this dynamic is with you and someone else you guys are both holding each other back neither person is really good for the other because it's too much likeness it's almost like likeness repels and opposites attract so it's that kind of thing it's codependency it's it's um the people not really believing that they can kind of move on without someone that they've always either had to depend on or the person had to depend on them this will be the week of that cord cutting that separating going and the realization of what it is and no more fantasy this week but really realizing it and for some of you it will come through the process of disappointment or again 
whatever your suspicions are, it being revealed to you, okay? But on the outside, just like last week when there was something that happened and it wasn't so much how the it wasn't so much what happened it was the way that it happened that created a lot of problems for you guys but you're gonna get on the other side this is saying the same thing but in a different context so it, it will this week it'll relate to others of you that probably didn't experience things last week and it's um it's not as severe because it's almost in this group of people i feel like you guys have already sensed it and it's almost like okay we're dealing with it but it's being dealt with in a way that is um digestible and toward the end of the week until the end of the month going into 2017 you guys are going to really be ready to embrace this new year this new you without the attachments of others and with and being okay with turning not necessarily turning your back but being okay with allowing other people to stand on their own two feet even if you feel like it's not necessarily the best thing for them so this will be the week of you guys standing on your own two feet and allowing others to do the same although the process isn't going to be right now going you know for this week it's not going to be the lesson to get there isn't as going to be as harsh as it was last week but again it will be a lesson okay because things has to be kind of brought to the surface of realizations made and then therefore an acceptance that comes thereafter so that's what i have for you guys and i feel like it's more um, spiritual and situational rather than a money situation and work situation okay uh, for those of you that really are into the money thing and you want to know for this week well you know with the holidays coming up particularly in this uh, in the states i feel like some of you are again trying to get a money situation back on track and um, that might not be this week where you find that job, that sort of thing. It's more of like, again, the spiritual development and kind of letting go and let, you know, let go, let God. Like that is where you guys will be dealing with at this time, letting go and let things be and what will be will be. OK, so it's kind of that I'm seeing more spiritual development. Um, rather than more of the material because that's more going to be your focus in 2017. So that's what I have for you guys for this week. If it resonates with you and you like to comment, please do so below. We'd love to hear from you. And if you're new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I will be back very soon with another one. Take care, Taurus.